guys and welcome to moving vlog number two we've now been in the flat two nights haven't slept a lot which is why i look so tired and um, but tonight tonight today is like our first proper whole day at the flat i'm not working yesterday i was just tying up um loose ends at, at the old apartment and today we've got a full day me b and grace to sort everything out tidy organize and just feel a little bit more settled both b and i have been very overwhelmed we have both stopped not stopped crying i don't know why b's here eating her eating a bagel at our imaginary dining table <laughs> i think we're also just feeling really um like happy and um relieved so i think all the emotions are just coming out right now also guys i mean you can't see it now it's got loads of boxes but our floor has been properly fitted and it looks insane the guys who fitted it were honestly amazing they did it so quickly and the quality and everything is just amazing i'm so so happy um but yeah here's the hallway currently and this is what my wardrobe room is looking like it's looking a lot less messy this was filled to the brim of boxes yesterday um grace has been in here this morning so we're just kind of organizing and piling clothes i've got rail arriving this morning so we can get a temporary wardrobe and then this is b's room at the moment but but yeah yesterday they built the wardrobes um she's gonna have like shelving and um drawers all of that kind of thing put in obviously um but here's how it's looking at the moment they are so big it's amazing we're also kind of going to get them slightly built in um so they look like they're part of the building kind of thing this rituals um, diffuser that I've been saving. So I'm gonna pop this and the bathroom it smells incredible. Look how nice the little bottle is as well. So my rail has just arrived from Amazon. This is one of their heavy duty ones. Although my last one of these did break. So um, hopefully it's enough to last for a few months. Grace and I are gonna do this together now. Hopefully it's not too difficult. I feel like it's probably quite self-explanatory. Right, so you've got three. Oh, three must be fine then. So. And I've just popped our last Freddie flowers up on uh, my chest of drawers. I feel like flowers just make a room feel so much nicer. Um, I'm actually working with them on this video, which is so exciting. So I'll go into that a bit later, but um, yeah, these, these ones are still going very strong. is now up and we're going to fill it up with everything that was in my wardrobe so this rail here this is from argos this is like my new in rail and um yeah everything else is going to go on here look what has just arrived on my doorstep my first freddy's flowers delivered to this home address i am so excited to see what these ones are like They haven't bloomed yet, but I think these are going to be so wonderful and festive once they have. And I've got a code with them as well, which means you get 50% off your first two boxes and a free vase as well. I'll put a picture up on the screen to show you what the vase is like, but it's really beautiful. I'm just chopping off all the ends so they can freshen up a little bit. One thing I have noticed about Freddie's flowers is um, they are always really fresh and they last really well as well. And I think that's because they get them directly from the growers. Um, oh, take his little hat off. Oh, oh. Do you want to see my new flowers? Yeah. I feel like you're better at arranging flowers than I am. Yeah, I just feel like these ones are especially nice. Guys, this is how they're going to look um, once they're bloomed. So pretty. 
so you know do you ever see them recycling out yeah. and it just looks like a movie it does doesn't it <laughs> they've got like all the boxes piled yeah, up yeah it's like the start of a really happy movie yeah like, like a, a rom -com. nice rom-com yeah eventually i want to get a really nice coffee table and i feel like a coffee table with flowers in the middle would look really nice but right now i don't have one so i actually think it looks nice in the kitchen especially because everything is so white and it kind of breaks it all up a little bit so yeah maybe i'll put it here actually i think they look really lovely here next to the sink so yeah i'll show you guys in a few days when they have actually bloomed Matching Christmas pajamas, so cute. Big old Christmas pajamas in here. Oh, are they really nice? Yeah. I think they're brushed. No. They're not. No, Sarah. Oh no, that's nice though. That's not yeah. brushed. It's not brushed. I like it. Wait. Good evening, guys. I'm currently just sat in my little wardrobe room. Um, and I'm just going through the design, so let me show you, because it's really cool. This is what I've been sent for one of the sides of the rooms. We've gone back and forth on this a lot. And yeah, this is definitely what I'm going to go for. So I've got, uh, like, some shelves here, and then some drawers, and then this is all of my hanging space, like, literally all of it. Um, and then on the other side of the room, which is going to be shoes and bags. So this is my really terrible illustration of... Um, of some drawers just because without the drawers I feel like it looks there's too many shelves it's too liney so I've added in these drawers here um and I think that actually looks a lot better and it means I have a little bit more storage as well I've added in all my bags here so I can put them on the shelves and see how it looks and everything um I know that's extra but you know these things matter to me I don't know I'm kind of thinking this extra whole shelf is a bit much because look this here is this here so I'm thinking just one long wall of um shelves rather than it coming round because then i have a space for a mirror to go here so let me move this yeah i'm thinking i could have one big like long light up mirror here for like you know any outfit pictures and then in the background i'll have all of the hanging space here so yeah i don't know i think it's kind of better and it will feel less oh i think it'll make the room feel a bit bigger as well because originally the plan was to have the mirror on this kind of column pillar bit here but the only thing of that is the mirror will be but the only thing of that is you wouldn't have any room to stand back really because all the clothes are going to be here so yeah I've honestly gone back and forth with Richard, the UK carpenter, um, so many times. He's actually going to hate me for changing it again. But, you know, I think it's important um, to get these things right and I don't want to regret anything. And obviously it's a lot of money as well. So, so yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that everything's perfect. The only thing is, though, now I'm thinking that's a lot of wasted space. If the shelves are going to stop here... You have all of this space here, which could be used. I don't know. But then again, we do have a lot of ceiling height in this place, which is really nice. So we've got all of this up here, and I can only reach to about here, which is about half, no, three quarters of the wall. Good morning, guys. I wanted to show you how my Freddy's flowers have bloomed. Look how stunning they are. I'm obsessed with this colour. It's so nice for the season. And I feel like I did quite a good job at arranging them as well. The boxes come with like an arranging sheet and it shows you how to put and where to place each different type of flower. So for somebody like me, who isn't great at that kind of thing, it's so helpful. And then just a reminder of my discount code as well. It gives you a free vase, this one here, which is just really lovely, and 50% um, off your first two boxes. Good evening, guys. It's actually been a few days since I last spoke to you all because I've had absolutely nothing to update you on, but uh, today was a really lovely day because I went Christmas decoration shopping. I asked you guys on Instagram where the best place to buy decorations from is, and a lot of you said John Lewis, so I popped into John Lewis, and did some damage my parents are both coming up to london tomorrow to see my flat for the first time and i'm just so excited so i really wanted the christmas tree to be done for when they arrive and let me show you the christmas tree at the moment because it's 
I mean, it looks fine, but like I half decorated it and it just, I don't know, my Christmas decorations weren't inspiring me. They weren't making me excited. And I thought it's probably about time I did a bit of a refresh. I'm gonna still keep the ones that we have, but just add more on. The theme I've gone for for the last few years is like white and silver. And I don't know, it just feels a bit cold. And I wanted something a little bit more warm and cozy this year. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, I've got two big boxes of just like filler full balls um, just to fill the space. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but these are like a very like nice champagne gold. Um, some are silver to be fair, but I feel like if you add in the touches of gold, it will warm all up together. So I've got two of those boxes. Um, I actually don't know if I'm gonna need both. So we'll see. And then I also got these, and this took me so long to choose because they were so really gorgeous options. Um, but I loved how big these ones were. So I got five of these really beautiful champagne gold and they're glass as well, um, baubles. And as you can see, these are big, like these are large baubles. Um, and I think they were, yeah, these were nine pounds each. So they're quite expensive, but, um, and I got a five because I feel like things always look good in odd numbers. Yeah, I'm honestly so excited to decorate the tree. Oh my God, I haven't shown you the best decoration. I walked from Chelsea all the way to Portland and Mason because I really wanted something like really London-y for this tree just to celebrate my first, um, my first Christmas in my own apartment and everything. So, Fortnum and Mason, you can't get much more London-y than Fortnum and Mason. And look how cute these decorations are. Oh my goodness, I saw these and I thought, you're coming home with me. The tiny little Fortnum and Mason baskets. And they've got like a little, oh my God, I love them. I actually got three of these because again, things just look nice in odd numbers. So yeah, this was a bit of a gift to myself. Actually, Technically, this was a gift from my nan. My nan um, gave me a little bit of money to just as a well done for moving in and everything. And um, I rang her on the way to Portland and Mason and she told me that she used to work next to it and she used to go in there and get loads of pastry. So I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna get these with the money she gave me. Anyway, let's decorate the tree. I am so excited. By the way, my tree is from Balsam Hill. I got it in the Black Friday sale last year. I'll have it linked down below because to me, this is like the perfect shade of green. It's the perfect height. Um, and it also comes pre-lit, which makes things so much easier. I did actually buy some more lights today though, because I want it to be like super sparkly. My pajamas, by the way, are new ones from the Napco. I love them so much. They're just the best pajamas, you can't beat them. Do you know what? It's Friday, so I'm gonna pour myself a glass of champagne and then I'm gonna get cracking. I wish B was in here. B is currently in Brighton and I want my tree to be decorated for when my parents get here, why they was late. So it's actually not finished yet, but I'm pretty much done. And I love, love, love the big ones here. I think they're so nice. And I love the little Fortnum and Mason's basket as well. We have a lot left over, but I just don't really like the silver. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can spray paint them gold maybe. Also need to add the uh, skirt, I've got like a wicker skirt, which matches this. Um, but my parents have it, so they're gonna bring it up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really lovely. Also, I need something on top. Maybe I'll order like a star or something. Um, or maybe a bow, or is that weird to have a bow? Um, but yeah, I'm also thinking of adding like some bows um, around the tree, or is that gonna look a bit tacky? I don't know. Um, I guess if you did it like tastefully, it could look nice. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. I did also put on these lights, which are the ones I bought from John Lewis today, but um, they're so much brighter than um, than these ones and it just looked really weird against it. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. I'm just taking my hair clips. My parents are arriving in like 10 minutes. I'm so excited for them to see the place. My mum's seen the place already, but when she saw it, it was like still half a building site. So yeah, I've just given the place a bit of a clean and a tidy and i um, just waiting for them to arrive now. I'm gonna put the kettle on. What are you guys doing? What are you doing on the floor? You look like a little mirror, don't they? <laughs> my outfit of the day i've got a naked basic on these trousers are from reese and I'm currently wearing my ugg slippers look at 
that for you, Roy? Wowza. Gosh, you've done so much already, Case, for moving like this. Well, hello, my lovelies. I'm here in Katie's super duper flat eating some very nice lemon flapjack, and we've just had a Thai meal. Been delicious. And that's all I've got to say at the moment. I love your flat, Katie. It's absolutely gorgeous. Do you want to be a little mum? No, when mum as well, and we've got Opal here. And now we're going to go for a little walk. Well, my outfit. Which bit am I looking in? Am I looking in the camera? Um, or am I looking in there? Camera. Camera. Where's the, where's the camera? Yeah, okay, so this is my outfit. It's my sort of old Benetton hat. Uh, but it's got, it's got, um, what's it called? Down in, mm -hmm. in there. Very, very nice. Very and nice. And toasty. Meal. Toasty. And then this uh, Kohart hat. Oh, very cool. Which is very good. There we go. What about the shoes? They're nice. Uh, oh, yeah. And I got these uh, years ago, but they're very, very warm. Lovely. Nice. My parents have just left and I'm really sad. I had such a lovely day with them. Um, we just had food and we had loads of tea and biscuits and we went for a walk. It was just, it was so lovely. And yeah, the place feels very quiet now, but B is coming home in like an hour, so that's good. Um, also, I wanted to show you my Amazon delivery. Um, I'm going to Lapland next week, so I bought these earmuffs. Lapland has been on my bucket list for the longest time, so I'm so happy I'm finally going. And I also picked up, you guys might remember these gloves from last year. Um, I was obsessed with them, but then I lost them, so I picked them up again. Um, they are leather, I don't know, I think they're like a fake leather, but um, they look so chic. And um, they're touchscreen, but the best bit is they're also fleece lined, they're absolutely lovely. Um, they also come in a really like nice gift box, so a good little gift idea. So yeah, I'm going to Lapland um, next week. I'm actually going with a guy. Um, I know I mentioned to you guys, li literally ages ago now, I think. Um, I don't know when I told you, but I told you guys that I was dating a guy a while ago, and um, yeah, we are together, which is really lovely. So we're talking about this. I know I don't normally talk about it, because I do like to keep things private. So yeah, I'm going for five days, currently planning all my outfits. I'm wearing a lot of things I already have, because I feel like I've got lots of clothes that kind of suit um, Lapland. I also, oh my god, I have to show you these boots that... Um, I was sent at you. These are honestly the most perfect boots I have ever seen. <laughs> Look how amazing they are. So I'm really looking forward to styling these up. And they're from this brand here called Bobby's. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. It's upload day today. I'm looking very eggy because I really didn't want to do my hair today. Um, but I sent this slick stick and this has actually changed my life a little bit. Like you could just like you just tame away any little flyaways and they just literally stick so cool um i'll have this link down below if i can find it online anyway i thought it'd be nice to end this video with a bit of a q and a i'm currently sat in my dressing room and this little space it feels so cozy and i don't know i just feel like it's my little safe space i absolutely love it and uh, so i thought yeah sit down answer some questions i get so many from you guys on instagram all the time and on youtube as well so i just thought it would make sense just to sit down and um go through everything from start to finish um hopefully give some of you some advice um i mean i really don't know anything like i came into this whole house buying process a complete beginner and i still don't know much but i definitely have learned a lot along the way quite a frequent question was how did you find the place and um my whole process of buying this flat was not like the typical way people find it basically with my job i needed three years worth of really good books in order to get a mortgage and i was on my second year and i knew this was when was this this was 2021 was my second year and and i knew i had to wait until april for my third year then i can start um seeing how much i can borrow for a mortgage and then start looking um but then in it was october 2021 i was um driving and i actually happened to drive past um this apartment block that was being built um it was currently at this point it was just a shell and you couldn't really see anything but like there was a big sign with a like cgi rent of how it was going to look and it said um here's the website inquire within and honestly like i'm just so nosy i mean i don't know about you guys i mean i feel like everyone's part-time hobby is looking on right move and I, that was something i was doing every day because i really wanted to get a feel of the market and how much when i did want to buy 
how much I could potentially afford and just like trying to get a good ballpark of what the market was like. So I was just being nosy and I went onto this website and they annoyingly, they didn't put the price up. So then you have to put in your details and then they give you the price. So I put in my details, saw the price and thought, okay, like interesting, moved on. The next day I got a phone call from the developers and they were like, we got your details, um, just wondering if you wanted to book in a viewing. And at this point I knew that I wasn't gonna buy, I knew that I wasn't interested, but I thought, you know what, just to like get the ball rolling, get the journey going, let's just do it. Um, so I turned up the very same day to a complete building site. I'm gonna put videos up on the screen. Um, let me have a look. God, this is so funny to see now. And they showed me, I think like four different apartments in this blog. And this was the first one I saw. I went into this one and I just, the space was so nice and the light was nice. It was quite like a cloudy day, but the light was really coming in. And yeah, it just felt really spacious and big. Um, and then I went to see um, my next door's flat. And then I went to see like, I think like the flat above and the flat below. And I was just like, no, I really want to go see that first one again. Anyway, then I went home and I was thinking about it and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, I asked when the completion would be and they said April 2022, which is perfect because that's when I would get my third years of books and can apply for a mortgage. So anyway, like I had a month to kind of think about things. I then had another viewing, had a look at the progress. And I said to them, like, give me a month to like think about things, like do my research, ask questions and um, then I can let you know if I do want to put the deposit down. So I spent this month um, really, really researching the area, seeing, you know, what they're doing, if it's going to be developed at all, if they're going to knock anything down, if they're going to build anything, because obviously in London you can buy a place and then the next day they can build an apartment block blocking a view. And also researching the house prices, like where they were going in the area, all of these little things, uh, just so I was really well um informed i was going back and forth with them so much just asking so many questions and really just trying to get the best feel for it and then uh, i reviewed it one more time and this time i put down an offer in person which was actually really scary speaking of which i wasn't even going to put in an offer because i didn't even know that that's what people did i kind of just thought it's like um i kind of thought people did that with houses and things like that but I thought, I don't know, for some reason I thought apartments were just, you. it is what it is. But I asked my friend and she just said, look, there's nothing to lose, you may as well put down an offer. So yeah, I put in an offer it, below asking price and it got accepted. And then I think it was about six months after this when we actually exchanged contracts. And during the six months, again, I was just doing so much research. I was reading the contract inside out, making sure I knew everything. And then once I felt like I really knew what I was getting myself in for, is when I signed an exchange, which is kind of like when you legally agree that you have to buy the place, and if you pull out, then you're liable. I know it's really weird just to see kind of one a building, and like most people when they buy houses or apartments, they probably see so many, like even like hundreds maybe, like I've got friends who are buying at the moment and they've viewed so many places. But the thing is with this place is, is I was looking online every single day on Rightmove to see things that could compare that were in a similar area. But the thing is, I was on Rightmove every single day looking at places and honestly nothing compared to the size versus price of this place. And they, and all of them had some kind of compromise and weirdly with this place the only compromise was buying off plan and obviously kind of all the stress that comes with buying an incomplete building, um, incomplete apartment even. So that was definitely the compromise but everything else was absolutely perfect and I registered interest in so many different apartments in London and I just was going to waste my time going to these places because they're not in my budget and they're not big enough. So yeah I know it's weird but like sometimes with these things I, I do think I was extremely lucky just to hit the jackpot in my first go um even when i was renting places i was i think i viewed like 20 places before um our second apartment in london that was such a long-winded answer but hopefully it explains my situation a bit more and yeah let's go on to the next question i actually had lots of questions about the deposit how much i put down i think typically in the uk you put down 10 percent but with my job and um, my kind of financial setup, I had to put down 20% because I'm not in a, what the bank thinks is a like secure job. So yeah, I had to put down 20%. But 
Um, another question is kind of leads on to it was how or when did you start saving? And I started saving the moment I moved to London. I was in my third year of uni, but I was also working pretty much full time as a content creator. And then anything that I was earning, I was saving. And yeah, ever since, so I moved to London five years ago. And yeah, ever since I've just been saving, 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 putting money into a separate account, which is just for the deposit. So yeah, it's actually been a really long time now I think about it. Um, somebody said, congrats, uh, percentage wise, how much more do you think it, did it cost you than you think it would? So I have to say there were a lot of unexpected costs that they really do not prepare you for. So at um, the day of completion, um, my solicitors hand me a bill, which is the stamp duty, the remaining deposit, and then um, like little like fees, like the solicitor fees. And then there was a whole other list of things that they did not tell me about. And people always say, you know, expect to have like these little unexpected costs. And I just did not think my solicitors would introduce those on the day of completion. And I was actually really lucky again because um, they changed the stamp duty Oh, my camera's gonna die in one moment. And we're back. Um, yeah, my solicitors gave me an estimate of the stamp duty um, when we exchanged, and then the threshold actually changed. So I saved a lot of money there, and luckily that money paid for all of the unexpected, well, not all of it, but like a, a small part of that paid um, for all of the unexpected things. In fact, do you know what? I can list out some of them to you if I can find the email. Okay, I can't find the email, but it was things like land registry cost and and I don't know how much that was, like say like £200 and then like completion fee, £40. Yeah, like all of these really random little things that they don't tell you about. So I definitely advise really asking for full transparency from your solicitors what to expect on completion day. And um, yeah, I was lucky that I had that kind of spare money from the stamp duty tax. Okay, someone said, with it being a new build, how does the snagging process work? Any issues after moving? Um, so I think most new builds should have like a warranty and I believe snagging is normally done before completion, but with it being so rushed, we um, we had to do it after. So we moved in and I just wrote down a big list, what's happened to them, and they've got contractors on site for a whole year. So if we have any issues, I just might message them and they can come straight away or like during, or like that week and sort it out. So uh, that's actually really helpful. Someone said, how has it been adjusting to the new place? And honestly, I feel like I, have had the biggest weight lifted off my shoulders and I feel so, so happy and just, I feel like I'm still on cloud nine. I've been here for um, just over a week now and I just wake up every day like so happy just to be here and um, yeah, adjusting has been really nice. Yeah, adjusting at first, like the first few days, I think I said in my last vlog, B and I were really emotional. It was really, really, really stressful. And then as soon as I unpacked my stuff and I was like, I'm, I live here now and I'm staying here, the best thing is as well, it's deleting all my old addresses and knowing that this is my address now and yeah, it's just, I honestly, I'm just feeling really content at the moment, which is really, really nice after such a stressful year. Quite randomly, I've actually got a lot of questions about like tips and tricks to keeping the flat organised and clean. Um, and my number one tip is to read Marie Kondo's book, I think it's called The Art of Tidying Up. I'll have a link down below. But she is like the queen of tidying and organization. I read her book and um, and yeah, that's really helpful. But like other than that, I think for me, I tidy and clean every single day, so I'm always on top of it. And I try to never go to bed with a messy living room or messy, in fact, no, I actually like never go to bed with a messy living room or kitchen. That's just my rule. And yeah, I think if you keep on top of it every day, it definitely is a lot easier. And then the last one is, what are your interior and decorating plans? I've spoken about this a little bit already, but the main focus is right now is I need to get curtains. We currently are curtainless and that's an issue. So um, we're quite lucky that we're not overlooked. But still, I need, we need curtains. Um, so I'm getting those sorted. I'm also having cornicing and panelling part of them place nothing too like ornate or crazy but something quite minimal and simple just to make it feel a bit, a bit more homely and a bit less kind of boxy and I'm also getting all of the um like handles and light switches changed to a brushed um like brass little things like that are like my focuses right now and I think everything else can just happen really slowly and I can work out what I want as I live here. Oh, one more thing actually, I'm getting at some point the kitchen wrapped. So um, at the moment it's like a dark gray and um, 
and I actually don't mind it I think it's actually like not bad but um I just think to go with to tie in with the rest of the house I would like it to be more of a neutral color so I'm gonna get that wrapped um which actually is surprisingly inexpensive and obviously I don't want to rip out the kitchen it's just like a really cost effective way to do it um yeah so I'm gonna wrap up the questions here um but I just wanted to say as well guys um I feel so incredibly lucky to have been a be in a position to be able to buy but I would hate for anyone to ever go onto social media or like look at things online and think um you know they're buying why am I not buying I'm still renting or whatever and like there's absolutely like renting is great and there are so many upsides to renting I know lots of people who choose to rent over to buy for so many different reasons so um yeah I think buying a house is there's no rush to do it and Joe, I know it's probably easy for me to say but just trying not to compare your your journey and your life to people's online because yeah you're on your path for a reason and they're on their path for a reason and there's never any rush for these kind of things so yeah i'm gonna wrap up this video here thank you so much for watching guys um we're pretty much all unpacked now so i don't think there's gonna be another moving vlog but there'll definitely be interior vlogs and like talking about like the house kind of vlogs thank you so much for watching i love you all so 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 much and have a fabulous week bye Mwah.